Afternoon everybody, it's Sarah here with Habitat Housewares. Today we are going to be making french fries in the DeLonghi Multi-Fry, it's, it's called the Multi-Cooker Air Fryer. Um, so this is one of two air fryers that we carry here in the store and my first time demoing one of them so I'm really excited to show you what this can do. Um, this one here, as you can see the setup, uh, it opens from the top here. And then you've got your bowl inside, which is where you're gonna cook everything. Um, I have made french fries and I have made fried chicken in here. I've used the paddle for the french fries, did not use the paddle for the fried chicken. So you can do pizzas in here. You can do so many things. They've got tons of recipes on their website, which is just where I got the simple recipe for the um, french fries I'm gonna do today. So what I did was I bought some russet potatoes from the store, I peeled them, and I cut them with uh, our french fry cutter here. And I'm going to just add them all into the bowl here. Um, after you cut them, you do want to thoroughly dry them. You do not want them to have any moisture on them. They will stick to each other and whoop, throw in french fries here. So I've got my french fries laid out here. Now this air fryer comes with a little measuring cup here and it doesn't have actual measurements on it it's got the numbers one through five so each recipe will tell you use you know five um, olive oil or one olive oil so for the french fries it does say five olive oil and uh, so I don't know if a lot of you know the purpose purpose of an air fryer is this amount this one or uh, it's about one tablespoon that measures out to be of, of olive oil should make these french fries similar to getting them deep fried at McDonald's or any other restaurant that has fries. I'd have to say I was really thoroughly surprised and pleased with how they did turn out with such a little amount of oil. When I made them the first time I had to substitute. I didn't have olive oil. I didn't feel like going to the store so I used vegetable oil. So I'm hoping this time that they turn out absolutely perfect. Um, and I'm not gonna add the salt yet. That's something with french fries that you should do at the very, very end. Um, so I will. So now that it is all in there, what I'm going to do is uh, first set our timer. This is kind of cool. This little timer like pulls out of here so that you can set the timer. So these wanna cook for about 45 minutes. For my last experience, 35 was a little bit too short amount of time. And so what I'm gonna do is stick that back in there and it is going, so I'll turn the machine on. You can hear the fan running, so it's gonna start doing its thing. It's not going to use the paddle yet. That paddle, you can actually see it right there in the corner. It's not gonna move for five to 10 minutes to give uh, the machine thorough amount of time to hook up. Sorry about all that shakiness there, guys. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is let this cook for 45 minutes. I'll be back in about 40. So the last uh, few minutes of it, I can show you what it looks like with that paddle going around in there. It's very slow, but what it does is it's gonna thoroughly um, fry all of the fries on each side. It's just really convenient how, how everything comes out very evenly cooked and with such a little amount of oil. So I will be back in about 40 minutes. Stay tuned and I'll see you in a bit. 